last video I put bitware on the SB6190. Uh, people ask if I can make a video for the TM1602. And this video I'm going to show this. And also I have created a 1.29, which will make the program bitware much, much easier. So I have mod this modem, so this is semi-permanent. I have the uh, EMMC connect to the Unink like so. And inside, uh, it's something like this. I have another modem, a router here. Let's check. So I hot glue, hot glue the wires here and to the network port and then clapped on the top on it. So these connectors, I use the original wire from the, uh, the Unink and cable. Uh, but this uh, t uh, pin 10 and pin 8 are connected together. You use a very thin wire to the data. And I hope this make it simple here. And after I screw the back on, this well looks like so. So now I'm going to show the current status. The modem is in the original. Um, it's in the original firmware, and let's power on. Okay, we've got the IP address. Let's go to the web to dot and this is the Aris firmware and let's check the BW which bitware is not available so now let's power off and then connect the remove the cable connect the Unink NT like so uh, then I can use a Jump wire, USB cable, connect the other side to the USB port, and then let's start the software. So in 1.29, I allow, I have reset, uh, partition it. This is part seven, and this is part seven A, and part eight, and part eight. 9a and I have created a script new script called bitware and in here the first four option is similar to what we had and the, the key is you need to select the folder to put where the bitware was and here is let me go to the 1.0.5.9 and select it once in this folder and I have created another option called fully automated bitware. So currently it's in the stock firmware. Now I select five and click here and then I click enter. So the load process is much simpler than the 1.28 because it's, it's fixed the issue that's uh, load the file into the current folder. So with two key presses, select five, enter, and that's it. So it will take a while to program. I think it will take two, one and a half minute. The key is the part 7a should not be touched. Part 7 needs to be programmed and part 8 needs to be programmed. Part 8a should not be touched. And the new script should make the programming is much faster. Uh, however, I would still highly recommend you to back up your original firmware first.
this is part 12 then 13 Okay, now it's finished programming. So let's unplug the USB first and remove the USB. Let's power on. See the LED. Okay, now we have the IP address. Let's look at the So first let's look at the original firmware. It's there. And let's look at the BW bitware. Now you see it's Spitware 1.0.5.9 is programmed and all the features are available here. So it, you can see with the Unink NT on the modified TM1602, the programming, the Bitware on it is quite easy. And again, I hope this modification will have people, you know, be interested to this mod 